Hello and welcome to a much anticipated episode. And today we are back here um, for the hard water season. And today we are doing what we did last year. Uh, I've come up with Leaf here and we're here up at his cottage uh, fishing for lake trout. And we've opened up with this lake trout here. We've been fishing for about five minutes. Um, this one here is probably about uh, two pounds. So not a bad yeah. one, not a that's for sure. All right, there's the second little lake trout of the day, and we're just gonna release him. So Leaf has just caught a second uh, of the day here, and uh, not a big one by any means, but uh, was fun to watch. We actually uh, watched this one about two feet under the ice uh, try to hit it. It was pretty aggressive over it. Um, but uh, yeah, you we're nice and it. toasty in the shack here. We got this little heater going, and. Um, here, we're just about to release this guy here. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Put up here and right show there. you guys. That is all we're using. The simplest bit, it's uh, it's pretty cheap. A um, lot better than live minnows, that's for sure. But yeah, no, so stay tuned. It's been, uh, it's been a pretty good... Um, <laughs> it's been a pretty good uh, little bite so far, and uh, we can't wait to get on some more. I'm going to try... Leaving it slowly. Still jig it a little bit if you're gonna do that. He's interested in it, clearly. All right, there's my third fish of the day. Nice little lake trout. I got another one. Oh yeah? Oh, little one, yeah. And he's gone. Oh, oh, no, he's still there. He's still there. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a lake trout. Holy rambunctious. I don't know where he is. It's a jawjacker fish. Well, not bad. That's the last thing I thought we would be catching this weekend on jawjacker. Yeah. That's my fourth trout of the day. I wasn't marking anything over there at all. Were you marking anything? No. Yeah. That's interesting. All right. So uh, we just got back out here from a uh, pretty good lunch back at the. Uh, at the cottage there and uh, we just walked back out down. and this is our first uh first um first jaw, first jaw jacker fish and it's actually on a minnow what we've been catching yeah. ours on have been um plastic minnow yeah and uh and this one just a live dace this one here on is uh gonna gonna make a good meal for us and uh this it's one not here too big but it is a good eating size fish so and this one here is gonna uh gonna be one that uh we got it on the middle. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, pretty sweet. setting up my jaw jacker and Carter got our first keeper of the day. In 15 feet of water, 
on the white power bait minnow. So far in the last afternoon and this morning, we've caught a total of eight lake trout now, I believe. There's a keeper. Keeper? Yeah. Hold the pass, it's a small mouth. Small mouth. Yeah. Carter, you're not the only one. Smaller than yours, but he was aggressive. That's a first for me, small move through the ice. Another one. Another small mouth. A little bigger. About the same though. So overall, we had a pretty successful weekend out on the ice, despite the frostbite warnings and the extreme cold warnings, we still managed to get on a few fish. So now I'm gonna talk about some of the equipment that I used to catch some of those fish. The rod I was using to jig for those lake trout was just a, a cheap quantum rod that I bought at Canadian Tire. It's a medium action rod, I believe. So it's pretty versatile. It can be used for multiple species and I fish in some pretty harsh conditions sometimes, so I don't like to buy super expensive ice fishing stuff. And this is a reel that I actually put on just after the trip, because this reel that I had here, it's an Abu Garcia Cardinal reel. The anti-reverse actually stopped working as the reel got colder, as did Carter's reels and my other reels. Everyone's anti-reverse just stopped working and the drag was making funny noises. I guess that's just what happens to reels in the cold. Anyways, this is the rod that I was using on the jaw jacker, just the classic ugly stick GX2 ice combo, eight pound test, just a little split shot and a red octopus hook with a little live minnow. And this is the jaw jacker. I don't typically set set lines for lake trout, but I wanted to just try it because you're allowed two lines per person in Ontario through the ice. And I took advantage of that and actually managed to get one on the set line for a change. We missed lots more than that but it was interesting to see that they were hitting both baits and the bait I was using for the lake trout was just a three inch Berkeley power bait twitch tail minnow in white color just on white jig head and the sonar I was using you might have seen that a few times in the video is the Garmin Striker 4 it comes well you can get it with the portable ice fishing bundle and I've had it for a few years now, it's been great. You can use it all year long in the boat, on the ice, in a canoe or kayak even. And it has a flasher mode, traditional sonar, split screen. You can make waypoints, you can do all sorts of things on it. And it's relatively inexpensive compared to a lot of the other fish finders out there. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. It was uh, definitely an interesting weekend with those couple of surprises at the end. And hopefully we will see you soon.